Hello, and welcome to Transformation by Truth podcast, where the call become the chosen and those who have been dedicated to serve the Most High receive the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth as we progress our quest for holiness, perfection, and everlasting life. My name is D.L. Anderson. I'll be your tour guide. Let's get started with today's lesson. Hello, my friends. D.L. Anderson here. Welcome back to Transformation by Truth podcast and the quest for holiness, perfection, and everlasting life. Today, we have a brief word from your host and a reminder that exciting times are on the way. Today's podcast is entitled The Father's Controversy with Leadership, Part 5. It is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Romans 13, 11. The podcast objectives are reveal the progressive nature of spiritual sight, analyze the parable of the darnel in the field, and reveal the importance of opportunity in these last days. Now, our first section is entitled, Beginning to See Clearly Now. If you have been following our podcast from the beginning, I am sure you have noticed an evolution in the spiritual tenor and the topical discourse of this podcast. This is, no doubt, by spiritual design and a design I was not aware of when I launched this podcast. I am sure most of you understand this. The way of holiness is a patented faith walk. Even those of us who possess an advanced spiritual faculty have not attained comprehensive spiritual sight. Notwithstanding, we have more than enough to be saved yet not so much as to eliminate our need for faith. For if we knew every detail and factor of the Father's will, of what value then is our faith? There would be no value. And thus, seeing as faith is the foundation of the pinnacle of holiness and every progressive spiritual model, we will never possess a comprehensive view of the Father's will in every situation in this life. 1 Corinthians 13, 9-12 reads, For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect has come, then that which is in part shall be done away. For now we see in a mirror, dimly, But then, face to face, now I know in part, but then I shall know, as I also have been known. Now, despite our partial levels of comprehension, our spiritual sight does, in fact, increase as we progress towards the mark of perfection. So, Ul clearly says, when we achieve perfection, There is no longer partial understanding. Seeing as this quest is progressive in nature, our understanding, i.e. spiritual sight, increases as we master each degree of holiness and walk in obedient faith to the word of truth, which commands us to go on to perfection. See Hebrews 6.1. Now, I said all that to say this. The Father provided me a high-level blueprint of this podcast ministry in the beginning. And although I did not see how it would evolve in those days, 
I am beginning to see clearly now, and I trust you are too. Holiness, perfection, and everlasting life have been the primary themes from the start. And although they continue to be the primary themes, the Father has clearly added another theme into this powerful mix. Enter the last days. Now, our next section is entitled, The Parable of the Darnel and the Field. Now, this is easy to understand if you first understand the purpose of the last days. In line with the parable of the darnel in the field, i.e. the wheat and the tares, this purpose is to remove all those doing lawlessness from the earth. Matthew 13 reveals, the reign of the heavens has become like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came in and sowed darnel, i.e. tares, among the wheat and went away. Now, by definition, a darnel or a tear is a poisonous weed that resembles wheat in appearance, yet in a big enough dose, it can kill. Therefore, farmers take great care in preventing darnel from growing in their fields. Continuing with Matthew 13, and when the blade sprouted and bore fruit, then the darnel also appeared. And the servants of the master of the house came and said to him, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? From where then does it have the darnel? And he said to them, A man, an enemy, did this. And the servants said to him, Do you wish then? that we go and gather them up. But he said, no, lest while you gather up the darnel, you also uproot the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And at the time of the harvest, I shall say to the reapers, first gather the darnel and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat and to my granary. Then, having sent the crowds away, Yahushua went into the house, and his taught ones came to him, saying, Explain to us the parable of the darnel of the field. And he answering said to them, He who is sowing the good seed is the son of Adam, and the field is the world, and the good seed these are the sons of the rain, but the darnel are the sons of the wicked one. And the enemy who sold them is the devil, and the harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are the messengers. As the darnel then is gathered and burned in the fire, so it shall be at the end of this age. The son of Adam shall send out his messengers, and they shall gather out of his reign all the stumbling blocks and those doing lawlessness, and shall throw them into the furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous shall shine forth as the sun and the rain of their father. He who has ears to hear let him hear. Now, our next section is entitled, When Opportunity Knocks. Here is where things get interesting. Namely, we are on the cusp of the harvest. Brothers and sisters, the time in which we have been forced to coexist with the seed of the wicked one, the offspring of Satan, is almost over. It is coming to a swift and decisive end. Seeing as the single disqualifier for the harvest is lawlessness, i.e. the broadest category of sin, the value of the quest for holiness is beyond measure. 
it is beyond difficult to appraise, and here is why. The quest for holiness is the only procedure that establishes our victory over sin and carries us all the way to the threshold of spiritual perfection. If you recall, I spent two weeks covering the sin issue in great detail. That equated to 10 podcasts as I was posting daily in those days. And I will soon return to that schedule. Now that I'm established in my new home and the end times conference I've been leading is almost over for now. As it pertains to the sin issue, we know it is the Father's desire to make an end of sin once and for all. And the only way this desire will become a reality is if he destroys all those who are continuing in sin and have disregarded his desire for our set of partners. This truism creates a very bold and decisive dividing line between those who are truly we and those who are darnal. I ask you to consider the following interest point faithfully, for many are not who you or they think. It is impossible to be in the Father's will and to continue in sin, for your continuance in sin reveals that you have not overcome sin, and thus, you have not defeated the work of the evil one in your life. Satan is, by default, your master. Here's a question. Will Elohim indeed allow the children of the wicked one into the kingdom of heaven? The answer, no. For Yahushua Messiah confirms that all these are darnal and will be thrown into the fire. For this cause, the leading milestone in the quest for holiness is your victory over sin. And it takes 24 degrees in total to achieve this victory, a key finding which reveals the difficulty in succeeding this major milestone. Now, if this is a victory you have not obtained, then you need to sign up for the quest today. Trust me, the quest for holiness is not a spiritual elective. It is not an option, not for those who are living that they might have everlasting life. My dear friends, it is the only way. We have now come full circle, and I trust you see why both the tone and urgency of this podcast are increasing. It is because we are living in the last days, and Yahushua Messiah has already begun purging his floor. He is removing the darnel from the earth, and the rate of this removal will increase mightily until they are all gone. For this cause, the quest for holiness I am set to embark on with the faithful few the Father has called this ministry is not just any crossing. My dear friends, this quest is our only chance to qualify ourselves for the seal of Elohim. It is the only way we can prove ourselves as we and survive all the evil that has been licensed to destroy the darnel. Knowing this, every leader in the religious circuit should be preparing the congregations on this wise. They should all be on this quest in some form in search of the most valuable commodity in our world, that is the seal of Elohim. The fact that leadership by and large is not focused on obtaining the seal tells you everything you need to know about the church. It is why the infamous day of the Lord will come upon them unawares. Moreover, it should also tell you something about the Father. That is, 
he will not leave you comfortless. Neither will he close the door of salvation on a man or woman who has potential to be transformed into weed. My dear friends, Pinnacle of Holiness Ministries is one of those doors and a golden opportunity for you to obtain the seal of Elohim. And when opportunity knocks, when opportunity does knock, open the door. Now, here is the final word. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Now, here is the assignment for today. Continue to pray and fast as you are led by the Spirit and ask the Father for insight as to the times and seasons we are living in. And please reach out to me if you have any questions at all at www.pinnacleofholiness.com. Now, here is what's next. We completed today's podcast, The Father's Controversy with Leadership, Part 5. And the next podcast is The Father's Controversy with Leadership, Part 6. I will post this podcast on Friday. Until then, my friends, be led by the Spirit of Elohim, and I promise you, I will too. I hope you enjoyed today's podcast. Remember to tune in with us every Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern. And if you haven't already, visit us at www.pinnacleofholiness.com and make sure you sign up to join the quest for holiness, perfection, and everlasting life 2022.